Hi lovelies, I'm here for another voiceover time lapse for you and it's going to be a double feature so get excited for that. First off we have a pretty typical painting by me which is this Sailor Moon transformation. Some people suggested, well one patron suggested that I do a little bit of a process thing and I've been painting two different ways lately so I thought I would show both of them. So this one, it started out pretty typically. I like to start with the face and I like to sketch it in. I'm not too much of a rough sketcher. I'm more someone who wants to really nail things down pretty early on. I use the 6B pencil in Procreate. All of these will be in Procreate. And I start to just sketch out the face and work on the body. And you can tell that I switched to now wanting to have a bit more of an extreme angle. Uh, it doesn't show on the capture, but I was using the grid um, 3D option that Pro Procreate does have. And I also referenced a picture of my own arms. So if you think that the fingers are a little stumpy, that might be because I was focusing on my own arms. <laughs> so I was really trying to keep her body reasonably realistic and then have fun with the shapes of the ribbons and her pigtails and her hair because I don't like to draw something that's too realistic at least not when I'm doing this really simple painting style that you're gonna see shortly uh, and then I really just dive right into the inks I love to use the ink brush that is in Procreate as well. It's slightly modified, but it's more or less just a standard brush that I use. And I like to really go over it over and over again, which can be a little tedious, but I actually really like to draw lines. I don't try as often to do lineless art. It doesn't come as naturally to me, but feel free to tell me any secrets that you might have for going more lineless because I always really love watching someone else do it really well. I'm probably going to speed through some of this inking because it's really me going over it and refining it pretty much a lot of the time. So if we speed it up you can see that I'm going over and slightly changing what I had originally drawn but more or less sticking true to what I had really thought of originally.
So once I get those lines done, that's when I start to decide roughly what I think the background color is going to be. And then I block out the general shape, the mask basically, of the body and the ribbons. And that's, that's the way that I can paint over and do gradients without worrying about having to erase a lot of things. And oh, things suddenly go really fast. I have my background, I really roughly put in the colors. I really try to keep things simple for the style. As you can tell, the ribbons are, I played with some layer styles for them. It's Procreate's a lot like Photoshop if you use that, so it has a lot of the same things. I like to go for some, I went with some detail, like bubbles, just like the transformation, which is another Procreate brush. And then I like to put in a lot of sparkles, if you hadn't noticed. So this is, after I do my paint phase, I like to just do really fun, like highlights. I had quite a few highlights in this one, actually. Uh, but I use, um, there's a luminescence brush, which has a little bit of a glow to it, which I think really helps. And then I sketch in some pretty simple, not too strong shadows. And then, well, they start out strong, but then I finish them up and then suddenly it's highlights and some last minute changes and it's done. It's so much about the line work and then really the colors really slap those on there. I'm trying to have some fun with things like that. And then in comparison to this next one which is my, my experimental trying to be more painterly style if I look through there. So I'm starting, this one really didn't have any plan as opposed to the Sailor Moon one. I just wanted to draw a face as I tend to start with. I like to draw faces. And then I really try, tried to sketch that in. Thought about doing a body. This is just a really loose idea. And then I just really tried to slap in some color. I was really trying to avoid using lots of layers, really trying to paint it like I, I had just a canvas. So I was starting with something that's theoretically grayscale, but it's more like a brown beige scale. And I really tried to block in some of the colors and the shading, and then kind of adding some blushes and hair colors after that. I just really had a lot of fun with this. And let me know if you like more of this painterly style. I know that this is definitely gonna influence some of my art uh, down the line. Though I still like to do really graphic things as well. So after this I was trying to add in more colors and just having some fun. Uh, I'm using the smudging tool in Procreate as well, which I think is pretty comparable to what is in Photoshop again. I think that this one's pretty good actually. It's really easy to get a nice blend between colors and as you can see at least though I was trying to keep it a bit rough, rough as well I used the Bonobo chalk which is really nice for that grainy look and, and quite a bit of this that you can see is with the Bonobo chalk just trying to get a nice soft but still kind of chunky look. I wanted to keep it loose. And I'm doing some highlights and some freckles, sketching in some eyebrows, doing some hairs. I love to do highlights, as you can tell, so I definitely did those. And I hope that this can be enjoyable in some way. And I hope you have a really good day, and thank you for stopping by. Bye!